To understand the anatomy of the dog's thorax and abdomen, you must be able to envision what lies beneath the skin and the relevant components of the skeleton. The latter include the skull, cervical, thoracic, lumbar and coccygeal vertebrae, rib cage, pelvis, and bones of the thoracic and pelvic limbs. The thoracic limbs include the scapula, humerus, radius, ulna, carpus, metacarpus, and digits. And the pelvic limbs include the femur, tibia, fibula, tarsus, metatarsus, and digits. The thoracic vertebrae, 13 pairs of ribs, sternum, and diaphragm form the boundaries of the thorax. Similarly, the diaphragm, ventral abdominal wall, pelvis, the rib cage, and vertebral column form the boundaries of the abdomen. The lungs extend from the level of the first rib to that of the tenth rib. The heart is positioned obliquely in the thorax from the third to sixth intercostal spaces. The large, dome-shaped diaphragm separates the thoracic cavity from the abdomen. Removing the diaphragm reveals the underlying liver and gallbladder. The liver extends across the entire width of the dog. Removing the liver makes it easier to see the organs within the dog's abdomen. The stomach, spleen, and left kidney are easy to identify from the left side of the abdomen. From the dog's right side, the duodenum, jejunum, pancreas, and the right kidney are evident. Removing the jejunum and viewing the abdomen from its ventral aspect makes it possible to identify the cecum, ascending, transverse, and descending colons, rectum, ovaries, uterus, and urinary bladder.